Oh, boy. Well, anybody join. Who knows? Who knows? It's at zero right now. Zero, 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 zero. Zero. It's at zero. Zero. People aren't joining. I've got zero viewers. I don't like this. How can this be zero? Emmy, how are you doing? Thanks for joining. Oh, gosh. You doing fine? That's good. I got a notice from the library today. The library says that I owe them nine dollars and thirty cents for a bunch of books I've never taken out and these are all children books right so I got a notice for this one book brown bear brown bear what do you see and my face looks weathered oh I don't know if that's good or not Jeff Daniels, I don't know who Jeff Daniels is. Uh, no, I don't do math. Why, why would you ask me that? Like, oh my God. <sighs> brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? So, do you date rape yourself? Oh, okay. Okay. Block. Uh, do you paint that painting in meth? Okay. Block. God damn it, I hate it. I hate when people come onto my scope to troll. It really pisses me off. God damn trolls. I don't know why trolls are coming onto my scope, but So I got a notice from the library saying that I owe them money for a book I never took out. I haven't been to the library for over a year. And these are all children books. Of course I have one daughter but she's 18. So I very much doubt she's into brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Um, I've got apparently nine dollars and thirty cents in fines for a whole series of children books that I've never taken out because I'm not interested in children's books <laughs> I'm interested in non -fi non fiction books hey Finley how are you doing man I got a, a, a letter from the library saying I owe them money for a book I never took out can you believe that it's a children's book, too, of all things. 
They said the due date was October 31st. I haven't been to the library in over a year. I know, I know, but I got to get this straightened out because I don't know how someone can take out books without my library card on my card, you know. So I'm wondering if this is like identity theft or what the deal is with that, right? <sighs> so, of course, I couldn't get through to them because they have this automated system. It drives me crazy. It's, uh, if you're calling about the hours of operation, please, please press 1. If you're calling about a library card membership, please press 2. You know, and it gives you like all these six options and the only thing you can ever do is oh dude I only quickly popped in cuz there was a glitch in my friend's scope saying you were there oh I don't I don't quite understand that but um but I'm here <laughs> so um I had a couple trolls a few trolls come into my scope eh? um asking me if I do meth <sighs> these, these trolls really oh they upset me um as they 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 seem to come in groups you know um And I don't, I don't, I don't know why they do that. Just checking because it said you were scoping and watching his at the same time. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I started a scope, right? And then my mom FaceTimed me at the same time. And I tried to turn off that scope. And then when I was done the FaceTime with my mom, I ended up watching your friend's scope. And I wasn't sure how I got to your friend's scope because I never clicked on it at the same time. So there's like, there was like some kind of glitch or something with the app, right? You know, um, because I was just trying to turn off my scope because I was on FaceTime with my mom at the same time. So I don't know, I don't know how that happened. Um, yeah. So the library thing freaks me out a little bit because I'm thinking if someone stole my identity or something. <laughs> yeah, glitches, yeah. What's up with the new profile? Are you, uh... Are mm. Yeah, what's up with the new profile picture? I mean, it's interesting. You know, I'm not, I'm never one to judge. So. Oh, all my. I'm looking at all the notifications of all my scopes that get tweeted out onto my Facebook. And, uh, and Twitter at the same time. So. I'm hoping that this library thing gets um gets solved. Um I wonder if it's an internal error or what the hell it is. Oh cool, Halloween costume. No, it wasn't a late book. I never took the book out. That's the thing. See, it's 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 too bad the it's too bad the library doesn't have like uh, an intelligent system, right? That that would look at uh, the type of material that you look out, you take out, and 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 look for inconsistencies when uh, something very different is taken out. Like I know I know my credit card does that, eh? Um, my 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 credit card looks for patterns in in the things I buy oh it was the children's book I'd go in look the clerk straight in the eye and don't say don't say a word just stare <laughs> and then say <laughs> 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 
yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to intimidate anybody. Yeah, we should blab soon for sure, Astro. Um, I got a notice from the uh, Edmonton Public Library saying that I owe them for a book I never took out. It's a children's book. And I got a bunch of fines on it, adding up to $9.30 from a series of children's books. Um, my 18-year-old daughter, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> no, these, these are all books for like, uh, what about the boy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> good evening, good sir. It seems your technological system seems to have caused a kerfuffle. Yeah. I would be I would be curious about that, you know. I'd 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 wonder like wh how did he get my library card and and that would that would concern me. That would concern me greatly, you know. Um because knowing him, um he'd probably get a book on how to make a bigger bong or something like that. You got to run. Okay, take care, Finley. He could have just used your name. I don't, I don't see how someone can just use my name to take out a book in my name. You know, because you have to check them out with your library card. Yeah, see you, Finley. Take care of yourself. I like your profile pic. And, uh... <laughs> I don't know... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my my card. My name is. Uh, uh, possibly. I don't. I don't think that would go well at the desk, though. I don't think they would be so. Uh, um, forgiving because then they would ask for ID, right? You know. Um, so, <clears throat> I just hope that no one's stealing my identity, though. That's the, that's the bigger fear of it. And I'm not sure how I'm going to settle this because, like, isn't this just, like, my word against theirs? You know? You know, like, I can, I can, I can ask them, like, when this book was supposedly taken out, but... I mean, pay it, then cancel your card. <laughs> City employees, not the army. <laughs> well, I'm not going to pay it. No, because it's not my fine. That's, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's, well, that's what I'm going to tell them. You know, um, you haven't been to the public library in a decade or two. Don't the cards have magnetic strips now? Yeah, they do have magnetic strips, yeah. And I haven't been to the library for a year. Did you get those books to lure children into your van? <laughs> See, because I know you, Astro, I know you're not a troll. <laughs> <laughs> but that sounds like a troll question to me. <laughs> but I know you're just joking. <laughs> God. Hey. You gonna take a nap? I'll be on Blab in an hour. Oh, cool. Yeah, but if you're... If you're uh... They should have a day date and the time those books were checked out. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Or, <laughs> you know what? If I was if I was a pedophile, I would I would lure, I would I would I would lure lure kids with drugs. Cause that's the one thing kids seem to 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 really want is drugs. So it's just like uh, it's just like like. You know, 
if you if 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 you, if you want to kidnap a teenager, you know, lure them with some pot. It's the easiest way. I remember when kids at my school would huff hairspray. Oh my god. That is like so unrecommended. Oh my god, anything to get a high, eh? That's crazy. Okay, spray it into a paper bag and breathe in the paper bag. Yeah, I get it. Pay the fine, then draw a bunch of dick pics and random books. <laughs> then they use magic markers. Okay, Astro, I'll check you out later. Maybe I'll connect with you on Blab. Um, no, I didn't see the Brie Olsen scope. Why? What? 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 What happened? Oh, she was creaking out about Charlie Sheen, right? Because it came out that he was HIV positive, right? And then she went on Howard Stern. Yeah. What, do you think Brie Olsen is paranoid now that she might have HIV because she went out with uh, Charlie Sheen? And she was putting on the front line like her, her life was in danger. Well, I don't know. How long ago did they go out, though? I mean, um, I guess, I guess, yeah, it's, 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 Ripley, stop. Ripley. Stop. I mean, uh, he, he was he was diagnosed four years ago, which means that he could have had the virus even before then, right? There was a gap in there, and she's a porn star, so she got tested regularly, anyways. Yeah, that's true. I think. Uh, Yeah, it's, I mean, Charlie Sheen probably slept with like hundreds and hundreds of, of, of women, I'm, I'm guessing. Hey, hello from Kiev. How are you doing? So if she got AIDS, she would have known, known it during her porn star test. Yeah, Astro. Um... Yeah, so so is Brie Olsen worried about having HIV since Charlie Sheen came out about it? Hello from Ireland. That's what she was saying on Scope and on Howard Stern. Okay, okay. Yeah, but apparently he paid people to keep quiet about it. Over the last four years since he found out the, that he had it. And, um, oh, she scoped before going to Howard Stern. So, yeah, they kept asking for more money. So, I mean, I wonder, I wonder if people are going to come out the woodwork saying, hey, I slept with him and he never told me that he had this virus, right? Because that'd be a serious allegation, you know, like, do you, do you think that once he found out he had it, that he was truthful with all his partners after the fact and was straight up about being positive? Or do you think he just kept it all under the table and still continued to have partners? Oh, he said that he would tell them before sex. And his doctor was on the show. Yeah, I just saw. I just. I, I. I heard about it on the news. On the. On the. New news. So. Oh, on today.com right now. Yeah. Well. You know, that should give Briosen a wake up call, right? I mean, um. 
when you become a porn star and uh and 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 and, and sleep with like hundreds of of partners and and you know you're hooking up with all these different celebrities i mean there's going to be a risk it's going to be a risk of these things happening especially when you get caught up with a character like charlie sheen who's probably who's who's known for being promiscuous right yeah You're a drug user. Okay, take care of yourself, Astro. Uh, okay. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to end my scope, but, uh, oh, was he, uh, yeah, I don't know if he was an IV drug user. I don't really know much about Charlie Sheen, so it's hard for me to speculate.